Hello there everybody and welcome to another episode of Terraria Modding Masterclass. In this episode we're doing projectiles and an item to create projectiles. So, what is a projectile? A projectile is an item of, well not an item, it's a entity that is created from an item such as an arrow or bullet even pets uh, magic is a common one and every projectile is sort of unique uh, you have different AI styles you can create your own AI with it and um, play around with it that without projectile you can't create like arrows and whatnot uh, you can have the item but it just won't do anything let's go over uh, a few things for the projectile Firstly you have the set static defaults, this is optional if you want to give it a display name. The display name is mostly shown uh, in the message window or chat window when you die or someone dies, for example Lynx was impaled by TMMC projectile. Pretty simple. Then in set defaults you've got a few things you can do. You will need to set the hitbox width and height. In a case of an arrow, it's around 812. Uh, try and keep it similar to the size. You can play around with the uh, size. Like this is 7 wide and 32 tall, it looks like. The 16 tall, 7 wide. So that's almost around the right area. Then you've got AI style. AI, there are AI values in the game that already exist. For example, one is arrow, two is shurikens, three is boomerang. There's many, many more. And if you were to use a custom AI, you'd use minus one or possibly zero. I think zero allows you to create completely custom AI. Me do. Projectile.ai style equals then the value of the uh, projectile. In description is a link to a spreadsheet that shows every projectile, its AI style, and all the other information you may need. Projectile.friendly this determines whether the player or NPC is harmed by this. Now, if you were to create a fireball spell and an enemy also has a fireball spell you have to create two separate projectiles uh, one with friendly one without there may be a way to get around that but it's just not worth it it's better to create a second one the friendly equals true if player is using it false is if they get hurt by it how many enemies can be hit by this with projectile dot penetrate the higher this number the more enemies that can be penetrated uh, in this case three so the arrow can go through a maximum of three enemies much like items projectiles have a damage type uh, sometimes these are passed through but sometimes they're not it depends on uh, how your item is so in this case we've got projectile.ranged equals true but you have Melee, Throne, Magic and Minion. Uh, you'll, you end up using some of these depending on what kind of projectile is being created. There is also the ability to set the projectile damage and knockback but most of the time these are passed through when the projectile is created. So if you wanted to give it its own damage or knockback you do projectile.damage equals the value and projectile.knockback equals the value. If you want your projectile to have a certain amount of time on screen, you'd use projectile.time left equals and then the number of frames they are on screen for. For example, this one would be on screen for 100 frames. I think it's, it's frames that it goes by. So as soon as that hits zero, it should die. Finally, is this projectile an arrow? Projectile.arrow equals true. 
as we are creating an error. If you want your projectile to drop when it hits the floor, then you'd use something like this. In the kill uh, override method, kill hook, whatever, you do if projectile.owner equals my player. This basically just checks if the uh, projectile was created by the player, and if it was, then it will run this. That way, if an enemy is using this projectile or something, it doesn't create the projectile if it's the floor. Then you've got int item equals main.rand.next if true. Then we do item.new item projectile.get wrecked. And then the uh, project, uh, item ID. Otherwise, we return zero. So, this main.rand.next ball is basically to, uh, using the random number, number generator to return true or false. In the. I believe it might be. I'm sure I did it on one. Dust, maybe? No, it wasn't dust. Um, I'm sure, I did sign on one. Yes, if main dot ran dot next equals three equals equals zero. This is the integer method where uh, we're just doing if the value equals zero, then it's true. Otherwise, it's false. In this case, we're doing uh, we passed in five. If it's equal to five, then uh, this will return true. Otherwise, it returns false. Now you'll be passing in an item ID uh, into this. It can be used for later, but it's how you'd use it. So that's the basics of creating a projectile. Let's go over to the arrow that I've created. So there's a few things that you'll want to do with the arrow. If you first of all, the shoot making the projectile appear, you'd use item dot shoot equals your projectile type. Uh, item dot shoot is an integer, so make sure that the type is correct. Then you have the speed of the projectile. This is basically used to determine the velocity when it's released. Otherwise, if you don't have this, the projectile will just stay where it is. So item dot shoot speed equals 8.5f. So when it's shot, it will go 8.5f in a certain direction that is determined by some code that's already in the game if you want the item to act as ammo such as the arrow you do item.ammo equals ammo id and then the ammo type in this case it's arrow now there's something i forgot to do in the uh, basic items i'm going to do it now and that's just recipes somehow i managed to forget that you'll need to do recipes so i'm going to cover the different things for example, in, to create this arrow, you need one dirt block, three stars, and five of our uh, TMMC items, and it will have to be done at workbench. So to create a recipe, you do mod recipe, recipe equals a new mod recipe of mod. Once this is done, you will not need to call this again, you're uh, inside the same add recipes. So after you've added a recipe, you could do recipe recipe equals new mod recipe mod don't need to keep doing mod recipe so to add an ingredient a uh, let's, let's start with a vanilla ingredient and only one you did recipe dot add ingredient then the item id if you want to add multiple of that then you do recipe dot add ingredient item id then the uh, number you want in this case we're doing three stars use modded items you do recipe dot add ingredient then the mod dot item type if you want multiple do that then if you want to add a tile such as workbenches furnaces etc you do recipe dot add tile tile id dot workbenches or furnaces uh, there are some furnaces that uh, share like the adamantite and the other one furnaces uh, you'd use 
the Adamantite Forge because it's a shared title ID. If you want to add a modded uh, tile such as the MMC tile you can do recipe to add tile and then the tile type. Then you need to make it so the recipe actually creates the item otherwise this recipe is just creating nothing so you do recipe dot set result and because we're creating it inside the TMMC arrow class you can do this otherwise you'd do something like recipe dot set result mod dot item type TMMC item or sorry not that you do arrow Create yet and if you want multiple you just put the value behind and once your recipe is done you do recipe dot add recipe and this just adds this to the list of recipes so let's go into our game or into sorry I should say We're spawning an enemy once we're in. Okay. In our enemies, I've already added the uh, Team MC arrow. And it's in our ammo. Let's just try and find an enemy. I can show you the arrow flying. If I just shoot the ground, you can see it sometimes creates it. There's that. Let's just do a light hack just to make life easier. There we go. There's our enemy. And you can see it hits the enemy. If we shoot up and try and get hit by the arrow, you see that we won't get hurt. Okay, that was way too far that way. So let's do about that. Shoot multiple just to make life easier. As you can see, we don't get hit. There we go. So that's how you create a projectile. We'll be covering AI uh, in the next episode. So how to create a custom AI for projectiles. So. Till then, thank you for watching and goodbye.